What's up everybody, it's Daikaiji Tony here, talking about a movie that I just saw in theaters. But first, I'd like to mention our sponsor, Cosmic Comics, the jewel of the Mojave Desert that's also a giant robot. Kind of. <laughs> We're not supposed to tell them that. That's top secret information. God dang it! <laughs> Fine, okay. <laughs> now the kaijus will cut, know! Cut the cameras! No, I'm just kidding. Um, okay, so on April 1st, Morbius came out in theaters. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a Morbius one shot? Yes. <laughs> he, he's okay. reviewing Morbius because you, know you and I wouldn't see you it. You know what? That's fine. That's fine because I'm not going to see it. So go oh, ahead. Oh, okay. 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 So my initial thoughts when this movie was announced. I'm sorry. Be- I'm sorry. <laughs> I was generally <laughs> excited for this since I do like Morbius. I, I liked him in the comics. Yeah. He's was, a pretty he kick ass vampire character. And then I saw the actual trailer and I was like, yeah, no. No, I bet that the, the trailers were all right using <laughs> Lost Boys music, but then they actually saw the movie in the, in the big screen, and my verdict is it's just okay. It's, be, <laughs> it's, it's just okay. It's better than a lot of MCU movies like Black Widow, Eternals, what? a couple other crappy MCU movies I could think of in the backside of my head. Eternals was okay. But here's the Galaxy 2. But here's the thing. That's probably the worst. It's n- Thor 2. It's Thor n- 2 was disappointing. Yeah. What's, it was just very meh. Yeah. What holds Morbius back is it's not as crazy as the Venom movies. Like, <laughs> I, I expected this. Oh, so is it like The Last Witch Hunter where it's the one thing it should never have been and that was, like, forgettable and <laughs> it, it, it took no risks. Yeah, yeah it took no yes, risks. It's one of those movies where you could just watch and you don't have to watch it, but it's like, it's just there. Yeah. But it, there's some enjoyment from it. <laughs> yeah. So, Morbius, movie opens up. Michael Morbius, he's an acclaimed scientist who invents artificial blood. Right. Yeah, yes. That's right from the comic. Mm-hmm. First thing he does in the opening of the movie, he abducts a bunch of bats by cutting his hand open and putting him, putting him in some weird wire cage thing. And then it flashes back to his childhood where Morbius... It's revealed he has a blood disease, and basically he just right. keep, gotta recycle his blood every himself, every, right? every few hours. Yeah. Yeah. And um, he befriends. Did he have an Peter accent Parker. in this movie? No. Huh? Did he have an accent? I don't think he had an accent. He didn't have an because accent. Because he doesn't no, have an accent. I don't know if in the comic books he did. I mean, you. I don't. Think in the anime really series, no. well, but in the, an, in the in the in the nineties, six an, arms to stop a vampire. In the nineties <laughs> animated series, he had a really yes, he had, he had like a he Transylvanian had, accent. Yes, God. not was, like not like. Not like cartoonishly Transylvanian, well, almost but pretty cartoon- Transylvanian. Yes, and he was Felicia Hardy's boyfriend. He's like, Felicia, please. Really? Felicia. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, but, Why uh, are you touching my Felicia? Yes. Yeah. But oh my God. in the movie, in the, or- in the orphanage or hospital, it doesn't really... It doesn't, it, it doesn't, really, it doesn't really clarify <laughs> a lot of wherever things. Wherever they were keeping Jared Leto? <laughs> yes. Wherever they were keeping the sick kids who needed blood transfusions every few hours, he befriends... Uh, a kid named, <laughs> Lo- Lo- it starts with L, but um, he ends up just calling him Milo throughout the rest of the movie. Like, no, you're you're Milo now. Wow. Yeah. Wow. K- kid becomes his best friend. He is a cult leader. Can that I... makes sense, okay. right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. Okay, Takes, he robs his identity, uh, right? Yeah, go ahead. Yes. Yeah, that's, very, that's a very cult, cult thing, thing, yeah. Or is it colonialism? You, yeah. Okay. Your name's Owen. Well, you look like a lawn to oh, me. Oh, yeah. So you are now lawn. Yeah. Is it, is it that's very culty. Col- yeah, that's yes. very culty. Cult- and, and this hospital. <laughs> Which one is it? I have no clue. Is this child a, was this child a. Uh... Let him review them. Okay, no, go ahead. <laughs> but, well, here's the thing this hospital orphanage is definitely not in America. Somewhere in Europe. They don't really specify. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> and um, Morbius' mentor notices how he's practically a genius. He managed to fix Milo's uh, machine that recycles his blood within, like, less than a minute. So he, you know, gives him the opportunity to be a great scientist. While Milo, he does, well, he has issues with the rest of the boys that make fun of him. Like, ah, oh, you have a blood disease. Yeah, the, the bullet. <laughs> what? 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 Yeah, they're, they're all in the hospital. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're in crutches. No. Yes. No, and, I don't even remember making fun of anyone or hearing anyone get made fun of because of a medical. <laughs> <laughs> you have, you have crap blood. Oh, you're like, you, everybody's you're, just you're, got crap blood. You're in, cr- you're in crutches. Yeah, <laughs> right? Like, this a, guy's got an arrhythmia. Oh, what a loser. It's, it's like the bullies from the Ben Affleck Daredevil movie. Let's pick on him because he's blind. <laughs> oh, my God. It's <laughs> terrible. Okay. I mean, yeah. I'm sure those bullies are out there, but. Yes. I've never met any, is all I'm saying. Yeah. Like, I've never met or heard or anything okay so fast forward in the future <laughs> morbius he's a 
famous scientist who works for Horizon, which is a thing in the comics. Um, uh, more Verizon? Hor- Hor- Horizon. That's what, Horizon. Okay. Oh. That's what I heard was Verizon. I just wanted to make sure he wasn't selling cell phones. The cell phone guy? Ba- basically, he abducted all the bats to take apart their DNA so he can make a cure for himself, but he has to do it in waters outside of the country because... What he's about to do is highly unethical, illegal. Yeah. Yes. Illegal and So he brings yeah. his scientist girlfriend, Martine, with him. And, oh, my God, first major problem with this movie. Um, <laughs> Morbi- That's the first major problem with no, 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 this no. movie? Morbius's introduction when he finally gets his powers. Let's compare it to how Eddie Brock got his symbiote leading up to the big reveal of Venom. You get to see him fight henchmen with the suit, with, you know, his limbs extending and all that, right. and a, a cool kick-ass motorcycle chase scene, and then he crashes, and you see his body reform, and you get the triumph of music playing, and you finally see Venom's face, and he eats the guy. But no, in here, like, oh, where, where's Morbius? We, we just injected him with the spinal fluid of, like, that piece of a bat, and freaking... They go inside. Oh, Morbius, he, he, he's on the roof, and he just jumps in the guy and sucks his blood. There's no tension or build up to it. I'm like, really? Hmm. And they green they green lanterned it up, huh? Yeah. Where he and, does nothing heroic yeah. <laughs> at all. So, yeah, <laughs> he saves like a potentially corrupt senator is the only heroic thing he does in the whole Oh, well, he saves his girlfriend from the mercenaries that are in the boat set because he gets funding from his best friend Milo. Wow. Yes. Um,. So yeah, Morbius, he just freaking dumps the bodies off the ship, leaves his girlfriend behind, steals the tapes, and jumps off the ship, and... Okay, superhero movies usually have... You know, usually the the superhero movies spend time showing off the powers of the the protagonist, like how the first Spider-Man movie... Like, first he discovered that he's able to shoot webs but on in a school by accident, then he's able, then he figures out he's able to climb walls. Morbius! There's a montage in his lab. He's like, oh, I just realized I have echolocation. It, it's, it's just a montage in his lab. Oh, uh. It's a montage, montage. And he's like, oh, I feel like I made a bond, a brotherly relationship with all these bats here, and they, they don't attack me. I'm like, yeah. Well, mm-hmm. bats normally don't attack us anyway. I- yeah. yeah. Um, Milo stops by. He's like, oh, you did it. You made the cure. No, it's a curse. And Milo is looking at one of the one of the serums that Morbius just left behind in the table. <laughs> and, yeah, Morbius's uh, nurse friend gets killed, and you kind of guess what happened. Um, Morbius, he's apprehended by the authorities. He turns himself in for some reason. <laughs> uh, <What? laughs> yeah, like, j- just when he could, like, jump off the building, like, because he could fly. Morbius could fly in this movie. The c- was like, don't do it, don't jump. And he's like, fine, I'm just going to turn myself in. I'm like, what? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, like, stuff just didn't make sense? Oh, well, that part didn't make sense. Mor- like, Morbius could have like kept bad running. screenwriting where they could just kind of, like, did things because that's what you expect as the audience? There was no... Oh, no, the plot's predictable. So, you're let... Th- okay. Mor- Morbius is led to believe that every time he blacks out, he kills innocent people, and he thought he killed his nurse. But Milo visited okay, fair enough. Milo visits him in prison. He leaves his cane behind, and Morbius realizes he took the serum. So the villain of this movie is Milo, of course. It'd be the person who would want... Who's also a living vampire? Yes. It's the person who would want the powers as much as he does, and of course he does some pretty bad things with his powers, like kill random civilians and kill random guys at the bar with it. Uh, yeah, and it becomes a matter of jealousy between him and Morbius, especially when he confronts his mentor. Michael Morbius. Yeah. Uh, and, okay, now I'm going to get into the cinematography and the shot compositions. For the most part, I thought it was okay, especially the close-up of his face and, you know, whenever Morbius is flying and the fight scenes with Milo. But one scene and the Did sub- he transform when he flew or he just fly like the air like Superman? Flies like Superman. Okay. But he just, he does this with his arms while flying. <laughs> like the flying nun. But <laughs> the flying nun, yeah. Oh, okay. Bat wings on his head. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so... He get carried off by his head. So, his head wings. <laughs> after Milo kills some random newspaper stand guy, Morbius chases him, and they go fight in the subway, and friggin' he's like, oh, you gotta fight me, Morbius, after Milo kills a couple cops, and it, it, it leads to the scene where Morbius learns how to fly, but Milo... He's in the right side of the screen. Nothing's happening on the left side. The, the scene is supposed to be playing out in real time. 
he runs like he's in slow motion, and he's looking at the camera. I'm like, this isn't real. The, 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 it just uh, was weirdly uh, shot. Or? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> right. And I thought the, I thought the shot compositions in Spider-Man No Way Home were iffy sometimes. With this, this this takes it to a whole new level. Huh. Okay. Morbius on the run from the police needs the help from his scientist girlfriend, I, Adria. Um, basically, his plan to stop Milo is to develop a cure for... Well, not, it's not really a cure. It's more like a death needle since... <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah, it's going to overload the iron that's in your blood. So, yeah, it's going to kill you. And he, pl he plans... Magneto's needle's going to turn you into a jailbreak. <laughs> yeah. He, tur um, he eventually plans to use it on himself because he knows that the synthetic blood that he develops is not going to last long. Um, Milo obviously knows about this plan. He kills his mentor out of jealousy. Then <laughs> he kills uh, his Morbius' girlfriend out of jealousy too because it, I don't know I get the feeling that Milo might have a thing with Morbius. I mean, there's a there's a three minute montage of him buttoning up his shirt, flexing, and dancing in front of a mirror. Who Milo? Yeah, Milo played by Matt Smith, the Doctor Who. who oh, yeah. really? The yes. The guy who, from what I hear, has carried the whole movie on his back. Yes. Apparently. Yes. Ah. Because he does a lot more than Jared Leto does. But yeah, Milo. Okay. So yeah, th th final third act of the movie. Milo and <laughs> Morbius. His blood play. sucks. We're an idiot. <laughs> his blood <laughs> sucks. He's more with a blood disorder. We're a moron. Morbius, all pissed off, sucks his dead girlfriend's blood and gets all powered up. Fights Milo with slow motion shots. Uh, Morbius has his trench coat. He doesn't wear that costume. He doesn't wear his disco, disco outfit. Nope. Disco. Yeah, um, the nope. big collar. And oh, how how Morbius beats Milo in the sewers. He summons a bunch of bats, right? He does a Hadouken oh, with bats. What? Kamehameha bats. Oh, yeah, no way. I thought that part was awesome. I wanted more of that in the movie. The Hadouken was the punch. No, the Hadouken no. is the fireball. Yeah, oh, okay. he just gathers a bunch of bats. Oh, or, or he could be from the the, uh, uh, the Avatar cartoon. It could be a bat bender. <laughs> a bat bender. <laughs> and then he just stabs Milo with the needle, and he just flees away. All right. So out of four stars, what do you get? Oh, wait, but there's the post credit scenes. Oh, wait. We forgot about the post credit scene. Hold on. Give it up. Let's post, post credit scene. <sighs> Sky's purple because of the spell Tom Holland and Peter Parker did with Doctor Strange. Vulture from the MCU teleports into a random prison cell there. He gets released. Michael Keaton? Yes. Wow. Yeah, okay. I knew they snagged Michael Keaton's Michael, vulture. Wow. Michael Keaton's there. Um, Morbius drives to a desert. He meets him. Somehow, Michael Keaton's vulture manages to build a whole new suit without the alien technology he had in Homecoming. He gets a new car. Well, That's I, a Sony movie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's Sony. And I kid you, I, I kid you not, Mike, he, Vulture says this. I don't know why I'm here, but it has something to do with Spider-Man. We should assemble more people like us. And what? Yeah. The end. Wait. All wait, right. Wait, so wait, out of four wait, stars. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> that hold was, up. That hold was, up. That was Morbius's line. No, Vulture. Vulture's line. Okay. So Vulture comes. So Morbius visits Vulture. Well, he's not wrong. Hold yes. On, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Morbius visits Vulture. Yes. And and Vulture tells Morbius, you know, you know who's stupid, Spider-Man. We should we should kick that guy's ass. But, well, and Morbius is like, okay. But yeah, yeah. Like no. <laughs> Morbius no doesn't even know who Spider-Man is. Yeah, there's like no. Yeah, he does, Yeah, I mean, if, but, it, well, if it's in that same universe as Venom, he wouldn't know who Spider-Man no, is. No, right? actually, here's the thing that's heavily implied. They well, it's implied that the two Venom movies, because they mention what happened in San Francisco, the two detectives that are in the movie, they mention what happens in San Francisco. The newspapers by the Daily Bugle mention Rhino's attack in the end of Amazing Spider-Man Two. Oh. They mention Black Cat and they mention Chameleon. So. Venom takes place in the Andrew Garfield universe, and that's where Sony's main oh, cinematic universe, universe is going to be at. I, it's okay. That's what I, But, like, that ending, yeah, it has something to do with Spider-Man. I, I, I just know. <laughs> All right, out of four stars. <laughs> two! What you, <laughs> two! What are you, just a solid two, huh? Just a solid two. There are some parts of it I enjoy, but it had the potential to be more crazy, more intense like Venom, but no. No, this... Oh man! Well, there you have it, Daikaiju Tony's review of. I'm all for crazy and Morbius. Bad though, but okay, sure. Yes, I'll take your word for it. All right, Daikaiju Tony, watch this movie if you have nothing else to do. <laughs> <laughs>